So the funny story was when I got out of high school, a buddy of mine, you know, those like event staff people at the concerts. I'm yeah. sure they have them up there. Yellow jackets. Yeah. The, 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 the thirsty for power. Yes. Well, people. a buddy of mine knew the head honcho guy here in DC and uh, we got jobs. But because we knew who we knew, we didn't have to do like the parking lot gig or the, you know, we got backstage yeah. gigs and we got, you know. So I was on like one gig. I was at the um, at the famed Capitol Center doing a Grateful Dead show, and I, I my job was just to make sure no one ran up on stage. Nonetheless, one of the gigs was at DC 101, home of the Grease Man. I don't know if that rings yep. a bell. Okay. Grease Man, baby. Yeah, and uh, they were like, "Hey, David Lee Roth, you're a big Van Halen fan. David Lee Roth is uh, is coming in for an interview with the Grease Man. You wanna you wanna go? You wanna do it?" And I'm like, "I would love to do it." And I show up at 5:30 in the morning. Dave shows up in a stretch limo and he, it was like a movie where he opens up the doors and like smoke came out of the car at 5 30 <laughs> in the morning. I'm like, Oh my God. And then immediately when you walk into the station uh, door, main doors, the bathroom was right there to the right. And he went in there and like my job was to follow him everywhere he went. So I went yeah. to go in there with him, and like this huge guys like, Nope, he's, he's doing stuff in there. I'm like, Oh, yeah. okay. And I'm like, Damn, it's 5.30 in the morning. Well, Dave's still going from the night before. I know. <laughs> but the funny thing was, I was at the Grease Man show kind of doing some stuff um, prior to that, like a couple weeks before. And I'm sitting there. It was only me and the Grease Man in the station. And someone calls from one of the most popular br and tallest bridges in D.C., the Key Bridge. And he told the Grease Man that he was about to jump and, and take his own life. And he puts mm -hmm. him on hold. And he looks over at me and goes, what am I supposed to do? And I didn't think it was real. So I said, well, just get off a hold and play Van Halen's jump. <laughs> and he's like, that's a brilliant idea. So he did yeah. it. And the guy thought he was hysterical and ended up saving his life. He didn't jump. Not jumping. <laughs> no. So we told Dave that story. He just thought it was the greatest. But yeah, Dave's, uh, Dave's an interesting character.